Today's daily dose of math shows how to convert a quadratic equation from standard form to general form. Converting from one form to the other becomes useful when we're doing situational problems. Some problems are easier to solve when you have standard form and others are easier to work on when the equation is in general form. We want to be able to switch back and forth. Going from standard to general is the easier one, and I'm going to deal with that now. Here's a standard form equation. y equals a, x minus h squared plus k. a is 2, h is 1, and k is 3. We want to use our polynomial skills to get this into general form. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The first thing I'm doing is I'm rewriting x minus 1 squared as x minus 1 x minus 1. So instead of a squared binomial, I'm just showing it as a multiplication. But bed mass still applies. I have to do the exponent before the multiplication, so I don't multiply by 2 yet. Multiplying x minus 1 by itself is squaring a binomial. And I'm going to do it using the FOIL. First times first is x times x, that's x squared. Outside times outside is x times negative 1, which gives negative x. Inside times inside is negative 1 times x, which also gives negative 1x. This will always happen when you square a binomial, that the two middle terms will be identical. Finally, last times last is negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. Now that I've done that, I have two similar terms. I want to combine them. So we have the trinomial x squared minus 2x plus 1. This all has to be multiplied by the 2. We get 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. But we also have the plus 3 that was always there. We were carrying it down because bed mass doesn't allow us to deal with it yet. Now we have similar terms again. 2 plus 2 plus 3 combines to give me plus 5. I'm finished. I have the general equation y equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. Let's do another example. This time my a is negative, my h is negative, negative 3 that is, and my k is negative, negative 7. Will this change very much? No, not really. I rewrite x plus 3 squared as x plus 3 times x plus 3. I square that binomial first using the FOIL and I get x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. I combine similar terms and I have x squared plus 6x plus 9. I multiply the trinomial by negative 5. I have negative 5x squared minus 30x minus 45 and all along I had this minus 7 which I've been carrying down. Now combining similar terms for the second and last time I have negative 5x squared minus 30x minus 52. My equation is in general form. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.